Thanks for tuning in to the Grid Center. I am your host Shane Falco, along with my co-host Little D. We are here to bring you the Pac-12 playoff recap slash, and mainly most about, the championship game. Uh, this season, the one seed Bursa, congratulations to these two teams, Bursa the one seed and uh, number two AR for making the championship game. Uh, as we've mentioned in all the other conferences, this is the first season in gridiron history where the top two seeds have made the playoff, the championship game in every conference. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we beat, we've been talking about it in every other conference, but we don't want to keep beating a dead horse. But really, it just kind of shows that there's just two teams that were ahead of just everybody else in the conference. That's just the way it was. Um, there was no real drama with that. Um, so, I mean, that's all it really is to say. I mean, uh, uh, for the season of the Pac-12, I think overall it was very competitive. Uh, I liked a lot of the new blood we had brought in. Um, the forum was definitely a lot livelier in that conference, yeah. which uh, the season before was completely dead. And uh, so there's a lot of new blood out there, a lot of new teams, so which is good. Uh, teams will be starting to build their way up, which will eventually infuse new blood into the upper conferences, which is always a good thing. So... Uh, you know, maybe body count will be back in the Pac-12. Who knows? Pac-12? Yeah. It could happen. Yeah, it could. It could happen. I doubt it. Yeah. All right, let's go to the people's champs. Let's go to Bursa. Bursa? Yeah, you know, we did a little comedy skit, you know. Uh, was it comedy? It, it, was, it was comedy. <laughs> you know why I say it's comedy? Because a lot of people didn't think it was funny. No. That's why I think it's funny. I think it's funny because I'm, I think we're different. Have a strange sense of humor. That's so what we did it exactly, and uh, a lot of people are like, "Oh, well, dude, that's funny." I mean, why show up to the game? Right. You know, and I mention any names or anything like that, but you know, it it was funny. And uh, but I, I I checked out Bursa this weekend. And it was even funny because we even got Sherm riled up, and he's on Bursa. Yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> I, yeah, why you do that for me? You know, but it comes with the territory. So he does. if you're on top. Expect things like that to happen, and uh, they blew out the Outlaws the first game. But the Actually, second, side note, the Outlaws forfeited. It was forfeited. It was a forfeit game. Was it? It was a forfeited game. The first time I've ever seen a playoff team forfeit their game. I don't understand. They showed up with five guys. Myself and BB attempted to fill in to give them seven so they could start the game. And they had two guys show up late, like late, late. And Sherm talked it over with the fellas, and they all decided to take the forfeit. So we scrimmaged them just to get, you know, because the outlaw guys that showed up at least deserved to play something. And uh, let's just say that Sherm... Oh, 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 oh. Well, first, I, I, before, I, before you start, mm -hmm. I just want to mention the fact that Sherm can't beat anybody on a double move. Especially this guy. Yeah, James put him on his own little island too. Right. And Sherm couldn't get off. But congratulations, you made uh, the playoffs first year of existence, the Outlaws. Right. And they don't show for the game. Right. You know, we have to start. Well, they were having some. They, they had some issues. I guess Saturday, I talked to Jordan. And they were, and they had worked it out. Thought their guys were going to show up, and then some guys that were supposed to show up didn't show up. And I don't. We we have to create a list of ongoing bogus, asinine things that go on in this league, and we have to we have to write them down, and we have to do like a top twenty-five. That way, you know, we'll keep people on the list, and then uh, if something beats it, then we just bump them out or we'll bump the person up. This makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Now, I'm sorry. I, I don't. And if it's a death in the family, or somebody has to go to a funeral, or half the teen wives had babies that weekend. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened either. But it, whatever it was that happened, so let's move on. Yeah, you know what? You're absolutely positive, right? Let's move on. Let's move on. But I'm going to jot the shit down. Jot it down. He's three on this list. list. Right. Agree, uh, no, actually, it's five. I got five of my list. All right. The top one is fucking quarterback from Dallas. Let's go on. Let's go on. All right. 
So, okay, well, being that that was a forfeit, I stand corrected. Uh, Bursa, who didn't look that good against the replacements? No, it was a very, they struggled. Yeah. They definitely struggled. And the replacements didn't even have bullet QB. They were running the backup QB. Mm. And the replacements, first, like I mentioned, that, you know, we had a lot of talk about the D's Nuts game, new quarterback, and uh, D's Nuts didn't score. So, if, uh, and from the uh, parts of the game I saw, it looked like a very bad move. Now, if it works out next season, that's great. But from the parts of the game I saw, most of the time, the other QB, you know, little dude, uh, was in the backfield as a blocker. Mm -hmm. That makes no sense to me when he's their best playmaker. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on there. But next season, they have a whole offseason to work it out. So we'll see what happens. Um, and like I said, who knows? I mean, we're in a league... Oh, no, we can't say we're in a league. We're in a, we're in a time where if things don't work out, we're going our separate ways. I'm going to take six players and we're going to create another team. Right. And we're going to show you how it's done. And I think so, Gillagat's going to do that. Yeah, no, I know. That's already documented that that's going to happen. But uh, I don't know as far as these nuts, uh, these guys, are they a strong collective group? Oh, maybe they'll stick together. We'll find out next season. Yeah, we will. We will. Uh, so you're right, Bursa did struggle. Uh, they still managed to pull out the game. Mm -hmm. I think just overall talent wise it just kept them from you know, kept them from losing that game. Uh, but it was still a much closer game than I think they would have liked to have. Okay. Uh, our good friend Sherm dropped a touchdown in that game. He dropped it? He did. He dropped a touchdown. Um, so they moved on to the championship game and they're gonna face AR, who uh, had a actually the aforementioned Dillagaff gave him all they could handle. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a game all the way down to the last, you know, last seconds. It was a two-point game. Uh, they went for two to tie it and didn't get it. And, uh, you know, what can you say? But it was a tough one. Uh, Vipers come out, struggled against the Ringers. A uh, real close game. Uh, it was a real ugly game on both sides. Mm -hmm. And then... 7-0. Uh, yeah. And then they... I mean, that's the Ringers kind of game, though. They don't want to be in a big scoring game. Mm -hmm. They're a low-scoring game. Uh, but the Vipers expected, I think, to beat the brakes off them. Didn't happen. <laughs> and then uh, that play kind of carried into the next round when AR just kind of steamrolled them. Yeah, I'm looking to score 32 to 6. Yeah. So, uh, you know, our good friend Juan Jeremy, a.k.a. Aaron, the, you know, the website guru, mm -hmm. Kamish, uh, got his team into the uh, championship game. I believe this is his first one in the grid. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, hats off to them. Uh, these two teams met in the first week of the regular season, and it was a uh, two-score victory by Bursa. Mm -hmm. um, AR did not have their QB, who ended up winning the conference MVP, uh, playing in that game. So, you know, that's going to be a different look this time around. Um, you know, Aaron's a really good lineman. So uh, it'll be a good matchup with some of their with some of Bursa's D linemen against him. I think that A uh, R O line is legit for at least two or three conferences. He doesn't think so, but his his, his O line. I mean, well, Aaron can play in the SEC. Yeah, you know, and his O line is, is is real good. You know, I'm I'm looking at him play and. They create holes for their running game or, or they protect their quarterback. And if the pocket breaks down, they have a fast enough quarterback right. to get out of pocket to make plays. Um, I mean, Aaron can play in the SEC. He just chooses not to. He wants to run his team, so. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, so uh, that's his choice. But, uh, yeah, and then, oh, and the alert is in. We have a new over-under list. Every conference has had some kind of over-under or something down from the commish. Okay. And uh, uh, the commish has sent one down. So, programming note, uh, over-under for this game is the amount of times versus quarterback Mike Yoder blows up at his team and yells at his offense. <laughs> or we set the over-under at five. I'm gonna take the over. You take the over. I'm gonna take the over. If it's a close game, it's definitely, yeah. definitely. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the over. He puts a lot of pressure on himself. I sat there and watched this guy for a couple of seasons. He plays with different teams and stuff, and um, by far one of the strongest arms in the league. Oh, I think the strongest. 
I mean, born, I mean, this guy, I mean, you could tell by his passing routes. I think his shortest route was like a, a fucking 20 yard out. That's the shortest route, you know, and, and it's coming it's coming with heat. I think, was he like a minor league pitcher or some shit like that? I don't know. Nah, I don't know either. There's but, a brick wall or a hole in it somewhere, though, I think. Yeah, it is, and, you know, drop passes will piss him off. Miss routes wouldn't piss him off. How dare you run a fucking five yard out? I told you to run an 80 yard right? Miss blocks will piss him off. Yeah, 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 miss blocks. And um, if Barca, and that we did the skit, when they're going to run away with the championship and stuff like that. Right. But if Barca loses this game, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I will say that you are, sir, not in the minority. There is a lot of scuttle, you know, a lot of talk. A lot of word on the street that a lot of people believe AR will win this game. I believe they could win this game. Right. I well, there's a lot of people that believe they will win this game. Wow. Well, no. That's going to be tough. And, and the reason why I'm cleaning it up now is because the the skit that we did earlier, I mean, last week. And I think that person has, it's going to be a more physical team than they are. But are they going to be able to capitalize? Because I think if Air Raid goes up by two touchdowns... AR. Oh, I'm sorry. AR. AR goes up by two touchdowns, this game could be over. It, it could. The game could be over. Um, you have to factor in, um, you know, for Aaron, he's going to be on cloud nine right now. You know, Mike Leach got a job finally. So he's going to be all fired up, you know, looking, you know, wanting to put the Mike Leach stamp on things. Um, so... He's uh, he's gonna be playing at a different level. I mean, we've seen him pancake Jordan. Uh, well, not the league, but some people have seen him pancake Jordan. You know, I, I finally did see that. You finally saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I obviously I think it's gonna come down to how well Matt, the QB for AR, plays. Um, he did not play in the first game. Um, he has been known in big games to map, turn the ball over a lot. Um, he's done it before in the playoffs um, on other team for his, you know this, this team in the past. Um, if he manages manages the game, not play it safe, but just doesn't make the big mistake. You know, if he throws it incomplete, it doesn't get intercepted. That's fine. Yeah. But if he throws the ball away and gets picked, that's a different story. Um, he's going to make plays in this game. He's going to move the ball. Uh, the question will be, does he make that big mistake that costs his team the game? Um, you know, he's, he's not making those mistakes that much if it's not there. Well, in the first game, and I think, actually, since you said that, I think their trip to the playoffs last week was a prime example. He made some interceptions in the first game, and it was a close game. They almost lost a game to, the, to Dillagath, a team that's talking about splitting up. The second game, he makes no mistakes, no turnovers, mm -hmm. and they steamroll through the Vipers, who was the number three seed in the conference, mind you. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to come. The game's going to come down. To, he is the X factor in this game. He is. If he makes the plays, and because he's going to make the plays, whether he makes mistakes or not, he's going to make plays. Yeah. But if he doesn't make the mistakes, then Ar can can and probably will win this game. Mm -hmm. If he makes just one mistake. That's a lot of pressure to put on a guy, you know. And I'm not talking about missing an open receiver. I'm talking about turning the ball over. Because if you miss an open receiver, you still got a chance to make another play. Yeah. But you turn the ball over, and I think it's like I think it's game over. You just burst us too explosive for this conference to give them an extra opportunity. You can't. can't. And I think AR can score with Bursa. Let me ask you another question. 